Sir Michael Parkinson was laid to rest in a small funeral of 90 close friends and family before a farewell toast at his local pub, reports say. The legendary TV interviewer died aged 88 after a short illness, eight years after receiving the all-clear following treatment for prostate cancer. In a heartbreaking statement shared by Michael's family on August 16, they said, after a brief illness Sir Michael Parkinson passed away peacefully at home last night in the company of his family. The family request that they are given privacy and time to grieve. Tributes flooded in for the star, known for his intimate interviews with the world's biggest celebrities, including Muhammad Ali, John Lennon, and Dame Helen Mirren, on his famous BBC chat show Parkinson. Earlier this month, it was reported Michael died of frailty of old age, per his death certificate. Friends and family of the chat show King, who was fondly called Parky, gathered to say their final goodbyes in a modest funeral. Placed on top of his coffin was a cricket cap and a red and white scarf of his beloved football team Barnsley. A service was held at St. Michael's Church, in Bray, Berkshire. Music from Michael's favorite singer, Frank Sinatra played in the background. After the service, the 90 friends and family headed to the Heinz Head pub for a farewell toast. A source told The Sun, the send-off was perfect and everyone was in good spirits. They said, it was a very dignified send-off for a man who remained understated and classy to the end. Sir Michael's son Mike reflected on the scale of tributes after his father died. Speaking on BBC Breakfast earlier this month, he shared, We didn't expect the kind of outpouring, we didn't expect what happened. I mean, not just here but in Australia. I mean, Australia, there was a golf course he used to be a member of and they put the flag at half-mast. Remarkable kind of gestures like that. And I have said previously that it's a very difficult situation to be in as a family because you do actually feel that you should step back for a while and just let the public mourn the man that they lost in the sense that you don't want to almost step on their toes because they had a particular relationship with him, either through television, radio, through print. He continued, and in a sense they're mourning a different person and so we have to, in a sense, keep out what we were mourning and keep it separate and allow that to subside before we're really able to as a family come together and remember him as a dad and as a husband of 64 years. Sir Michael had three sons with wife Mary, whom he married in 1959. Asked how his mother and family were doing at this time. Mike Parkinson said they are still in a sense of shock and admitted he has caught himself wanting to reach out to his father before remembering he can no longer do so. Throughout the years, Mike Parkinson worked alongside his father which he said provided him with a very privileged ringside seat to witness the broadcaster in operation. Sir Michael came from humble beginnings, born in South Yorkshire in 1935 and growing up in a council house in Cutworth, near Barnsley. In November last year, the broadcaster appeared on BBC Breakfast alongside his son to chat about his career and his latest book release. Mike Parkinson revealed that after the show they went to literary event The Hay Festival and then a book signing, which was his last public appearance. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.